Hey guys, this is Matt with Comex Gaming, and welcome to another Source Mode tutorial. Uh, I know I promised that I was going to do this tutorial before, but I had no time actually. I've um, been very busy with new stuff on the server, and yeah, we've we've done like a lot of improvements. I did more coding to the mod. Um, other players and admins um, helped me set up the new map that Seba uh, collaborated with us and gave it to us. So yeah, uh, pretty cool stuff that we've done, so I would suggest go in taking a look and tell me what you think about it because we worked very hard on it so um yeah um yeah so let's continue with this that i left off we left off here last week um setting everything up to insert into the database in fact um after checking this code i'm actually gonna put this to 300 just in case you know guys um because we really don't want to get any errors or anything like that um, so yeah just just in case so okay we saved the name of the target as you can see get client name and the target which is the client that we want to ban then we saved steam id here get client auth string target as well the reason that i forgot to add here um, so we're gonna add it here today Okay, so right down here you're gonna see something like this. Uh, I, I, like I said last week, this is in Spanish because my main language is Spanish. So we're gonna add one row, column, call it as you want, at the end of the table. So let's click continue, and here we, we get this. Oh crap! Um, yeah, well we get this sort of dialog. So the name is gonna be reason. It's gonna be a varchar as well. We're gonna have a um, I don't know. Some 60, I'm not 60, let's, yeah, 60. No, 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 no. We're gonna do 120, actually. And we're not gonna, we're not gonna have any default values. Um, so yeah. Save. There we go. Okay, so, now that we have the reason in our database that we can save it, but there's a problem here. We checked for it. Uh, if there's no reason, then it's gonna fail. Like, it's gonna say, hey, Bro, enter reason. I'm not gonna let you like ban this player without a reason. So it's gonna prompt us with that, um, yeah, with that error kind of thingy. Then we save the admin name and the, um, and the time that we haven't got yet. So we're we're gonna get the time right now. So here we're gonna add a string called time, and we're gonna set it to up. Uh, I don't know. Um, actually, the twenty. Yeah, why not? Okay, so to get the time, this is how you do it. You do format string, you know, size of the string, the the normal format um, function um, coding um, syntax, and then here, then you want to go here to the C to a C plus plus website. I'm gonna leave the name and the description, this link to it, um, and this is what you need. Since source mode is where source bound is based on C plus plus. C and C sharp, then you're gonna use this one. Okay, so uh, depending on what you want, you're gonna use different um, things. For example, if you want, I don't know, the the day, then you're gonna use percent D. As you can see, it says day of the month, 23. So um, I'm gonna actually copy and paste one that I already have, cause just to not lose time. So wait a minute. Okay, guys. So yeah. This is what I do. Um, it says day. This is month, and this is the year. Okay, and this is the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. You can find all that here. As you can see, day, the hours in 24-hour format. Then you have the hours in 12-hour format, and then you can get the PM or AM. Um, where is it? Uh, here we go. It's percent P. So yeah, you can get everything there. And then you're, we're gonna add a comma, get time just like that I don't know if this is necessary but I always do it just in case and then we have the time oh, oops I almost messed up here um, so yeah we have the time the argument to the client. that's all to ban the client now um, um, so here we format the query right um, so we actually wanna like um hmm actually we're gonna just not waste time I mean um, space on our script we wanna say new handle query equals 
like we want to set it directly to this SQL underscore query and then it says database const the query and the length the length is an optional parameter right in bytes so we're not going to use that of course um, so okay so our database is going to be stupid where is it mm, DB and uh, uh, where is it and uh, it's at the query so query right uh, mm, query h so SQL query the database goes first and then the query that we formatted with the proper um, formatting for the string right so once we got that done we gotta go here and um, actually check for that query so we're gonna say if query h does not equal invalid handle This means that if this handle does not equal this, then succeed. The operation succeeded, right? We got the query, we sent it to the server, and it responded successfully. Now, if this equals invalid handle, this is going to fail. So yeah, we're going to have a fail right here. Um, uh, right here, when we set this equal to this, where we are already like sending the query to the SQL server like immediately when we sign it so here we want to say okay if it just so if if it actually worked then we want to reply to command now to the client of course we want to say some client and the name successfully mm, double, double l i think so band now, so yeah, we want to say that, and then we want to add a comma and the name, 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 yeah, name. And uh, where's the? Oh yeah, this is the end name. This team ID. You can also include this team ID if you want to, but I'm not going to. So yeah. Now I'm actually going to teach you something new today, that it's going to be logging into a file, like logging stuff, like creating a log into a custom file that you want so this is pretty cool so we're gonna do log it was log action no log to file we open this and it says file as a string and then the format the formatted string so the, our file is gonna be um, it always, it, this starts at um, the mod folder right so it's gonna be the root directory it's gonna be the mod folder and then all the other folders folders it's gonna be like CFG add-ons materials maps and all the all the other crap that's in that folder that's gonna be the folder so we're gonna do we're actually gonna save into our we're gonna create a now we're gonna save into the CFG folder forward slash and we're gonna say um, um permanent ban no band system log dot cfg and here we want to say okay admin this is only like you the owner is going to be the only one that's going to be able to actually view this no one else admin and the name we're going to say band band player we want the name and the steam id just to make it look good um at and we're going to have the time here dot reason and we're gonna have the reason in there. so yeah we're gonna save everything so the admin name is gonna be admin name of course because we named the variable admin name um, then we have the the client so name the then steam ID because we named the variable steam ID and then I set the time which is time and then the argument to which is the reason that we get from the admin right guys oh I said it too well, let's say 120 I don't know why I said it too. yeah whatever maybe he wants to type something like it's massive boom okay so um uh, give me a second guys sorry for that I was checking if we actually had to create the file or source mode would do it automatically for us and yes source mode is gonna create the file if it does not exist However, if you want to ha have a custom directory, then you have to create it here um, in the plugin start with the function create directory, right? 
right here which I think I already covered so we're good to go so if this is if this is true then we success succeeded my bad whoops return we wanted to return plain handled and then else which means if we failed sadly they want to replay the command as well client Uh, client whoa what the enable to ban client simple as that we're not, we're not gonna give much of an explanation um, I believe if this is not a an SQL error then we shouldn't yeah we shouldn't get anything no, the error actually is going to be thrown here. Um, um, mm, I have a doubt of BRB, guys. Yeah, like I thought. Um, I was thinking about something that the MySQL error. Then, like, like we have, we have, we have to get that. It's important. So here we create the error, the the error variable, and we want to move it actually because we want to make it global because we're going to use this everywhere and we don't want to create it every time because we're lazy, right? So let's move this to 100, just in case. And uh, let's do SQL get error. Let's get error. There we go. There are a bunch of functions, and I keep forgetting them. So I'm sorry. Um, the handle is going to be the database. Blah. Yeah, handle. And the error is going to be where we store it. So error and size of error. Error. Uh huh. And now, we want to go here actually and um, my SQL error and we want to like print it to the client like that. And now we can check if there was actually a MySQL error that we are getting. This is how you get the error. Um, the reason that we're not doing that here is because it the function automatically does it for us, so we don't need it. Great, right? Yeah. So um, I don't think we have enough time, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, we're gonna actually do the we're gonna do the function that actually kicks the client when he connects and if he's banned, right? So of course this is gonna happen when he connects. So public on client client authorized authorized nope and client connect connected I keep forgetting I, I think so well if, not, if it's not this one I'll, I'll fix it later of course but yeah I think this is the one that we're looking for okay so um here we want to check if he's banned right so we're actually gonna implement the query so new string steam ID um, 32 and get client steam ID auth string what the hell is wrong with me today <laughs> so client um, steam ID 32 I'm not gonna write it the size of thingy because yeah we're not gonna move that 32 yeah um now that we got this we want to bim 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 actually get the info from the database so new string query mm, 1 to 50 is going to do 5 1 to f 1 to 150 is gonna do fine here I believe so um, then we want to format this format query the size of I keep messing with that word damn here we want to write um, um boom, 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 boom. uh insert no update no get 
Was it get? 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 No, get now. Wait a minute. I'm sorry guys, I feel humiliated because of that. It was select. My god. <laughs> so we're gonna select all. Actually, no, we're gonna select the Steam ID. Duh. We're gonna select the Steam ID from our um, database. So we're gonna go to localhost, in my case. And we're getting the Steam ID from the table ban list. So, ban list. Where the Steam ID actually equals that. Steam ID. Right, right. Um. So what is what we're saying? Select actually is gonna select stuff from the database that it's already saved. So we're now we're telling this select my Steam ID. So select this value. Um, from our table ban list right here where the steam ID equals that so if the value of this equals this that we get from this client then we're gonna return true if not we're gonna return false um, yeah I think this is a good place to stop I'm gonna actually keep um, I'm gonna upload another tutorial like in this Friday probably I don't know whenever I have time guys I'm sorry I'm having like few times a week to record this tutorial and it's killing me so please like the video please read it up thank you if you already did if you didn't do it please share the video um, subscribe to my channel I always upload new tutorials and when this series is done I'm gonna start new ones. I'm gonna explain everything I can. I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna teach you guys all the languages I know. So yeah, subscribe. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Thank you guys. Thank you for the support. I'll see you next week or I mean next Friday, this Friday, with a new tutorial. Bye bye.